Hello all. Uh, this would be, uh, I guess, part four of installing Gen 2 in Oracle VirtualBox. And uh, I stopped here at the uh, boot screen because you notice the window is quite a bit smaller than what we had when we were uh, installing. So what you can do in VirtualBox, um, you can get away with this. You press E and go down to where, there we zoom in a bit. Go down to the next entry kernel. At the end, uh, hit the space bar once, and then type in VGA equals, and then um, use your numbers, not the numpad if you have one. Use the numbers at the top above the letters uh, seven nine um, one. Press enter, and then press B, and it, you'll see right away it's a larger window to work with. So after we log in, there's a couple of things we can do. Uh, first of all, we'll clean up the uh, tar packages. So the command is rm and a slash stage. Start typing that. And tab completion, press enter. And then same thing, rm slash portage. And that should remove that. Now we probably want to add a user. So it's a user add uh, dash m, a dash capital G, and stuff like audio and like a comma video put commas in between USB and wheel for some wheel for uh, some root access and a space and a dash s and then slash bin slash bash and then a username and then just add a password for that user and Type it in, and lost you twice, and there we go. So you can exit, and you log in, test out your new user. You notice that the uh, command prompt changes color. There's nothing in here, really. Okay. So we have more things to do in root, so we'll exit out of here, and go back to our root. And we'll start building our Zorg server. So we have to edit the uh, make config file again. So still using nano and then dash etc slash portage slash make dot c. There you go for lazy uh, tab completion. At the bottom, enter. And we're going to add um, input capital letters underscore devices. That's plural. Equals quote. EV, FDEV, and VirtualBox. In the quote, and then video under, underscore cards, again that's plural, equals just VirtualBox here. Then we can save and exit. Now um, we do an emerge and a preview. So it's not going to install one. So it's dash pv uh, zorg dash server. Okay, so it shows you all the things it's going to install. Um, we have to um, add something to our an, another file called package.use. So in the handbook, it suggests doing an echo. And then quotes, small x, and then 11, and a dash base, slash, zorg, dash server, um, udev. Uh, this is done for anything, uh, regardless of virtual box or not. And then two arrows, and then out to etc, slash, portage, uh, package, I don't know if that'll complete, no, not yet, dot use. We can sort of take a look at that. There's only one entry, so we'll just nano that one. You can see it's in there. So now it's time to emerge XORG dash server. Let's hope we don't get any mistakes or errors, I mean. Okay, so one of 76. So this will take a while to download, so just be patient. All right, uh, that could, took quite a while. Um, you notice 
here it says driver vbox video that's because we put it in our use file uh, under no, I'm sorry under video devices and it wants it says to add in Etsy comp.t modules add vbox videos uh, just type in modules where there's a free space and then uh, vbox v i d e o and save and exit all right the next thing is to uh up well, update our environment so env dash update and nn source etc profile and then we have to emerge our virtual box guest editions so that's emerge i'm going to use the switch ask so that's two dashes And then uh, virtual box dash guest dash additions. Okay, uh, use X. Uh, looks like everything's okay. So we just uh, type the letter Y and give that a little bit of time as well to download. That didn't take as long, uh, but the, there are some notes. Um, first, it says uh, please add users to VBox guest group and uh, add VirtualBox guest additions to the default run level and e-select to set uh, OpenGL for uh, Zorg X11. So what I'm going to do is uh, press the right control on my keyboard and press F2 and I'll log in. And I can go back and forth control right control F1 and right control F2. So first thing is to add um, add a user, so whatever user made to VBox guest. So um, the, usually the command is g root password dash a and then your username. And it was a VBox guest. Yep, okay, so added to VBox guest. So flip back to ne next one. And we have to edit the runtime level, so we'll just uh, change directly etc slash init dot d and then ls if you want, and then rc dash update add virtual box dash guest additions to default and press enter now it's been added and the last thing was to uh, set e-select open gl so let's go back to that e-select list uh, no, OpenGL. I think we can list that out. It says that. So, e select OpenGL set Zorg dash small x 11. Switching interface. Okay. Now we have to get uh, the modules. So I'll just arrow up, and we can leave the ask in there. Oops, please don't do that. Uh, we can leave the ask switch in there. And VirtualBox dash modules, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, it's installed uh, VBox DRV module, VBox filter, VBox net adapter. Vivox PCI module. That's interesting. Um, they want you to add uh, stuff to the your comp modules again, and it says please add Vivox DRV, Vivox Net FLT, Vivox Net ADP. So we'll uh, nano our uh, modules again, and I'm not sure if you list these that one line at a time, but I'm going to do that anyway. Okay, as you can see, I just added them one line at a time. So now we have uh, four actual modules. Mo VBox Video, VBox DRV, 
and so on as it said to you so save and exit okay um, we're almost there to start our X server our Zorg server uh, we have to emerge a couple of things so it'll work this may take a while as well so it's a uh, emerge uh, TWM and X term okay so yeah one of 20 so take a little bit of time to compile okay so uh, I think we're pretty much set to uh, try out our X see if it's working so clear screen I'll zoom in so you just uh, type in start X and then press enter let's hope it works there we go so we have uh, two terminals very simple when you're happy uh, with this uh, you just type exit and it'll close okay so that's it for this part four up next is to install a desktop environment and as I said in the beginning I'm I specify gnome and that is going to take a long time to compile um, as you can see now that um, using Gentoo and compiling is basically the idea uh, but it's custom made to your system okay so I'll try to get this that video up soon and as always thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you soon bye for now